the psychology, as most of you know, uh, would be uh, the science of uh, behavior, a scientific study of behavior, and littering is a behavior. Um, and so questions a psychologist might ask about those things is, first of all, why does littering occur? And then you know, maybe the next question then would be how to change it. Um, for, as far as uh, why is concerned, I mean, there are a number of different factors, but I think that one of them may also be um, maybe the uh, notion that the public has about public space, um, which in the United States perhaps is like more of an individualistic uh, nature, uh, which means that um, public space may not necessarily be seen as something that we own, but that they own. And uh, so I think that, you know, for example, with the posters possibly, it might be um, possible to uh, basically change that view uh, by really making, basically including everyone and really seeing public space as something that's really worthwhile to be, to be preserved. Um, the second uh, aspect of how to change it, I mean, psychology has a lot of, you know, to say about how to change behavior. There are different areas in psychology that deal with that, social psychology, behavior analysis, um, a number of different, environmental psychology. Um, Dr. Duran Naruki is going to teach a, um, um, course in um, environmental psychology, so we also address like, the educational aspect of that. Um, but the main principle really is that you either, I mean, you change behavior by either uh, essentially punishing bad behavior or encouraging good behavior, desirable behavior. And uh, the truth is that um, really decades of research have really shown that punitive measures are usually not effective and they're also very, very expensive, you know, for governments to run because you basically have to monitor uh, everyone because no one's going to volunteer and say, well, I did something bad. So you basically need someone to basically, you know, hand out tickets and things like that. Uh, on the other hand, if you basically start award, uh, rewarding uh, desirable behavior, it's much easier because people will come forward and say, well, I did something really good. So, you know, please give me something for that. Um, so um, one of the ideas we had is somehow to basically create a system that, um, that maybe uh, basically rewards uh, people for uh, behaving in an appropriate way so that maybe like those incentives can be exchanged like is a coffee shop or whatever you get like a free coffee or something like that. Um, so that would also involve, you know, people who essentially like, you know, are available to basically give the, these, uh, these points out. Uh, so maybe we can uh, also, in, you know, in, involve our police officers, you know, with that effort as well because I think that would really go a long way also to improve uh, community relationships. Um, so basically, you know, the authorities are going to be seen as like, rewarding uh, rather than punishing, uh, which, you know, if you're a parent, you know that, you know, you're much better liked by your, by your kids, you know, if you um, can offer like a reward to your kid rather than saying, oh, you're grounded or whatever, okay? Um, uh, and specifically with the, uh, the research approach, um, so we've been basically working on this. Uh, one way would perhaps like to really to establish and assess, you know, how effective these posters are. Uh, we expect that they are very effective, um, but one way of doing this would be to look at levels of trash when there are no posters you know, as opposed to when there are posters. And so that's something that we would like to start uh, in fall. And then also our ultimate uh, goal would also be to, uh, to really expand basically this effort from on campus to off campus. I mean, there are many uh, locations on staff now that I think they really uh, could benefit from reduction in litter. Um, I live in the St. George area, um, and some of the areas are really uh, shamefully littered, and that's, you know, sort of like our entrance, you know, to the, to the island here, you know, the historic district and everything, so I think it would be very important to uh, do something about this as well. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you.